Hi there, uh, Griffin here from uh, Dice Nuts Sports Games. Um, today we're doing a tutorial here on Soccer Nuts. Uh, we're going to show you how that works. Um, we got uh, Orlando City versus Seattle, and um, Orlando's the home team. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just do the kickoff here right off the bat and show you how that works. You roll both die. The 10 die determines who gets the kickoff, and the 20 die will determine the ball handler who possesses the ball. So zero through one, or I mean zero through four, Orlando is the home team. They would get it. Five through nine, it would be Seattle. It is a six and a 19. So that is Seattle's ball to start the game. And uh, 19 would be their striker. So that is Martins over here. He's got possession in the white zone. Um, and then you go ahead and figure out what he's going to do. There's a solitaire uh, dribble pass chart on each team card, and that's located in the top right here. So you roll a 10 die and figure out what he's going to do there. Um, it's a five, so he's going to go ahead and do a short pass to M1. And the M1 is located over here. He'd be the left midfielder, uh, Ivan Sich. He's going to try to make it uh, attempt to pass to him. So we roll both die and refer to the dribble slash short pass chart. And we've got a 16 and a four. So we go down here and uh, find that that uh, would be the, the defensive midfielder's defense rating over here for Orlando, which is Saren. And he's a minus two defender. Um, and you're going to be looking at Martin's passing ability. Since it's a short pass, you just look at his regular pass. There is a, a pass and then a long pass if he was doing a long. But his regular pass is a three. So they gain an advantage there. So instead of 16-4, it is 16-5, which is a successful pass um, into the white zone. So uh, Martins passes it to Ivancic, the left midfielder, and the soccer ball stays here in the white zone. We mark one uh, frame on the clock, which is located on the stat sheet, and figure out what he's going to do now. What is Ivancic going to do? We roll the uh, 10 die again. It's a 7. He's going to attempt a short pass to the forward, who is Dempsey. So we go ahead and roll both die again. It's a 10 and a 2. Uh, we look at the 10, that would be the D2, which is the uh, uh, right back over here, Shea for Orlando. His defense rating is a minus 2. This would be uh, versus events, such as passing rating, which is a 3. Um, so they gain an advantage there again on the 10 die. So instead of a 10-2, it's a 10-3. And that result is uh, an out of bounds. It goes out of bounds. We mark another frame on the clock. And uh, for out of bounds, we have to determine possession by rolling the uh, 10 die. Uh, it's a 7. So in this case, uh, the defense takes over uh, because a 0 through 4 would be the offensive possession. And then um, 5 through 9 is the defense. So Orlando takes over out of bounds here. They're going to perform an inbounds pass here, a throw in. And... Uh, Basically, out of bounds is no man's land. It's basically just the white zone. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out what we're doing here. So the out of bounds uh, features the players that were involved in the action. In this case, Shea was on the defense, so he's going to be doing the throw in. So Shea, he's a, he's a pretty good long passer there. He's a plus three. He's a better long passer than he is a, a regular passer. So I'm going to go ahead and try a long pass from Shea on the throw in. Now on the long pass, you refer to the long pass chart. And how that works is uh, you don't know, you can't select who you're going to pass it to. You just have to do the long ball and hope for the best. Um, and on the, in the case of a throw-in, you do get an extra one automatically on the 20 die roll. So instead of a 15, it will be a 16. And you go down here and you find out it's the MD, the defensive midfielder for Seattle. His defense rating is a minus three versus Shea's long pass rating, which is a plus three. So it washes out. So it just stays the same. It's a 16 and a nine. And you look on the long pass chart and find out that it's a successful pass into the yellow zone. That's a good pass there. Now we got to find out who possesses it for Orlando. You go ahead and roll the 20 die and find out it's an 18. That is the striker. That's a good guy to have it. So Shea kicks the long ball and it ends up in Laren's possession here in the yellow zone. He's going to go ahead and, and try a shot. We'll see how this turns out in part two.